really started to get to know him when he was in Detroit. Started as a video coach and became an assistant coach. He also coached me at the World Championship in, in 2021. So I got to see him coach and be around those top kids at the U.S. program, see what a great job he was doing. You know, he really helped me and was always in my ear, you know, helped me through the ups and downs of my, my first pro season. So I think, you know, him coming here now is really exciting for everybody. His experience, I think, is real impressive. Obviously, working in the NHL, working with the national team, so the chance to work with him and learn from him was real exciting. Adam is definitely the, the biggest reason that I decided to come to Michigan State. Spartans trying to clear the zone, they do. Out to center ice, Nightingale wins a race to the puck, comes in, fires, it's a goal for Michigan State. Adam Nightingale with Michigan State's first shorthand goal of the season, puts it up 2-0. Played here and then I played a couple years after in the East Coast League. I was out of hockey for a year. My wife was uh, due with our first and I needed insurance and I, I took a job with a construction company. I was a superintendent in Charlotte, North Carolina. But I really missed the game, so I kind of called around and got an opportunity at Shattuck St. Mary's. I went there, I coached one of the midget teams. I also taught economics. I coached lacrosse, I was a dorm parent, I was an advisor, I ran the summer hockey school. So a ton of different hats that I wore. I was thankful for that experience there for two years and Coach Comley called me you know, for an opportunity to come back to uh, Michigan State and be the director of hockey ops. Did that for four years, learned a lot. Hockey ops 101. But I really missed being able to coach, so I went, actually went back to Shattuck. I coached the Bantam team there for two years and I kind of thought that's where our family was going to be. I got a call from Dan Bilesmo. He was the head coach in Buffalo and asked if I wanted to go to Buffalo with him. So we moved the family to Buffalo and worked for the Sabres for, for a year. Went to Detroit for three years and I got the opportunity to coach the U.S. national team the last two years. Spartan hockey has a great tradition with a history of winning championships and developing student athletes that move on to the NHL. The foundation of success is absolutely here. And it's the reason you've all joined me here today to celebrate not only the hiring of Adam Nightingale, but also a renewed commitment by the department and the community to support Spartan hockey. I couldn't be more proud to select Adam as our next head hockey coach. A lot of memories, you know, of playing here, playing with my brother and all the great teammates I had, all the great coaches I had a chance to play for here, you know, those for sure. And, you know, I think it really hit home when my family finally moved and then they got up and got situated and to have them here with me is kind of when it felt like it was real. My wife and kids and parents and in-laws, everyone's been super supportive, you know, and I think when you're a coach, a lot of times it is a, it's a pretty selfish profession. For my kids, you know, they're, they're totally understanding of that uh, there's times I'm going to be away. That's why you, know, you make sure when you're home, you're home. And I think we've moved eight different times. You know, even my in-laws, Jim and Joyce Johnson, like a lot of people that kind of look at their son-in-law sideways when you're moving the family all the time. And but that nothing but support and, and same with my parents. So super thankful. And you don't, you don't get this opportunity without that. We got a beautiful new rink. When we're done here, I want uh, anyone that wants to come, you guys come check it out. Come check it out, you're always welcome. You come back every football game, you come back to that tailgate. You need everyone. And, and I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but I, I think there's a ton of smartest, smart guys out here and need your support. And I think that's what I really want to make sure this alumni group is the best alumni group in the country. So when you look at the history of college hockey and, and the top programs, Michigan State is one of them. For all the guys, there's a, there's a pride of putting that jersey on and a pride of doing things a certain way and what it means to be a Spartan. And it's been overwhelming the support from all the guys from the different generations too. They've all sent their support, whether it be time, a phone call, financially, all, all those things, just huge. And we just want to make sure the guys know we want you back. Anytime we get a chance for those guys to be around our current players, it's a huge advantage. I had specific things that I was looking for in assistance, and I really think Michigan State's a place you can go get the best guys. There's a lot of people that have applied, and to get an opportunity like this, and I think it can be overwhelming when you get the amount of people that are interested, and I think it shows what people believe Spartan hockey can be. And so I did my homework. I called um, other college coaches, other guys in pro hockey, to try, try to find who are the best guys for what we were looking for, and their two names both came up. And I feel super fortunate that they left the places they were at. 
When Adam first reached out to me, was just impressed with his demeanor, his vision, the identity that he wanted to create, the culture that he wanted to create. And the more we spoke, the more I got excited about the opportunity to potentially work with him. And then once coming to campus, getting to see everything from Munn to the renovations, to campus, to the academic buildings, to the staff that was already in place, and obviously was in a very great place and, and UMass and have some unbelievable memories there and great friends. Adam talked about how we wanted to build things from within. It was a huge, huge thing for me. He's got a track record of rebuilding a program. He got to UMass, I think they had five wins and they ended up winning a national championship and losing in the finals. They're a top program in college hockey. He's almost been right where we're at right now and where we want to be. And then Mike Towns, I think he's a quiet worker, you know, and I really respect that about him. And he started out at AIC and their program was in a rebuild and now they're in the tournament every year. I think he was living in the basement. He was equipment manager, strength coach, and assistant coach. Well, I think there's something to be said about that, paying your dues, and cause you have to have a passion for coaching. And he was associate head coach at Clarkson and they're a top 15 team. Has a great reputation for recruiting and developing players. We're super fortunate to be moving in, in the timing, you get a new staff and a new facility. The history of the program, obviously an unbelievable winning tradition, producing a ton of pro players, so to get here and kind of revive that was something that was really exciting. When I did my homework, their names kept coming up and I feel fortunate they wanted to come. We want Michigan State to be the top program in college hockey, and we truly believe we can do that. It's gonna take time for sure, and obviously we're super excited about the renovation. That gives us the space that we really feel we need to develop players. If we're talking about making this the top program in college hockey, that it does take everyone. It's not about me. It's having a great staff. It's having an unbelievable support system from the athletic department, which we have. The alumni base, we just had our alumni golf outing. The turnout was unbelievable. The community, you know, I think that you look at the attendance, I'm super thankful for that people still believe in and want to see Spartan hockey be great. You know, I think a lot of that stems from our history of, of giving back in the community in Spartan hockey. There's a rich tradition there, and I think people want to see us do well. Our only concern is about being better tomorrow than we are today, and then we'll do that again tomorrow, and we'll do it the next day, and I truly believe we keep doing that. Eventually, that's going to come to fruition. Tie all that together, it takes every single piece of it to make this the best spot in college hockey.